Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, I'm showing you a quick and delicious way to saute shrimp. So let's get started. First off, grab one and a half pounds of shrimp, thaw them if they're frozen, and these guys are easy peel, so they've already been deveined. I'm just gonna take the shell off and triple check that they've been deveined properly. If they haven't been deveined, just run a knife down the back of the shrimp about a quarter of an inch the way through, and then pull out the little digestive tract. It's not delicious and you don't wanna eat it. I love seafood, I love the taste, I love the texture, I love all the easy things I can do with it, and most of all, I really enjoy how quickly it cooks. If it's just about dinner time and I haven't done any preparation, I can grab these from the freezer, give them a water bath so that they defrost really quickly, and then have this on the table in about 20 minutes. With some pasta and veggies, it's a full meal and everyone's gonna be super happy. In fact, I'm filming this video about 20 minutes before the kids come home and have their bath, and I'm gonna have this on the table and ready right after bath time, so there'll be no fussing and lots of full bellies. I left my tails on. If you wanna remove them, just twist them off, and these are good to go right into your mouth after they've been sauteed. My prep work's almost done. Setting my shrimp aside, I'm gonna wash my hands and mince some garlic. You'll want five or so cloves of garlic. These are big, so I'll probably use like six or seven. And if you watch the channel, you've heard me say this before, but always use fresh garlic and just use the unpeeled variety. Don't buy peeled garlic either. And if you know why you shouldn't, you can say it in the comments. I'm not gonna repeat it. All right, give the garlic a good smash. That'll help release the skin and also release some of the oils in the garlic itself. Okay, all that skin's gone. Get rid of that dry, nasty stuff. I'm gonna mince the garlic up, and by the by, today I will be serving this with pasta, but you could have so many different sides. If it was just for me and not my six-year-olds, I would have maybe nice savory polenta or a really lemony garlic herb rice. That'd be good too. Use this recipe as a starting point to make a delicious adventure, even like a cheesy cauliflower mash. Mm. Appropriately minced, I don't mind some big pieces of garlic. Grab a lemon, I'm gonna give my lemon a zest. I wanna have all this amazing zest for the very end, so I'm gonna reserve it, and then slice my lemon. When you zest a lemon, hold your hand still, and move the rasp, nice and easy. If you're using the zest of any citrus, make sure you wash it thoroughly, and in this instance, I would suggest using organics. There's no pesticides on the outside, or homegrown if your mom has a beautiful lemon tree and lives close to you. Now we're gonna give our lemon a slice. We're prepped and ready to go, except our shrimp are unacceptably wet. We want them to be dry, so we have a nice, beautiful, golden saute. Dump those out onto some paper towels, and then just pat them dry. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, what we need now is some more flavor, so grab a medium bowl, and inside of that, we're gonna add delicious things. Starting off with a quarter teaspoon or more of crushed red pepper flakes, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika. If you like smoked paprika, go for that too. I also want half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Hmm, this is an invitation to sneeze, I'm just gonna tell you. I did this kind of backwards, so let's rewind. This can get sprinkled over the shrimp more easily than tossing it in a bowl. Now, I'm gonna add my shrimp in, all the garlic goes in. Mm, that's gonna be a good time. Sprinkle in your spices. And we're gonna toss this until everything is nicely coated. Okay. Everything's tossed and the shrimp is evenly coated. Now it's time to grab a big heavy pan and get to work. Place it over medium high heat. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil right in there. This needs to get nice and hot, so wait till it's dancing in the pan, and then we're gonna add our shrimp. My oil's nice and hot, it's time to add the shrimp in, so carefully, no splashes. Add them in, that would hurt. Get all the garlic out, and just spread the shrimp so they're making contact with the pan. Okay. These only cook for about three minutes, so we're gonna toss them after a minute and make sure they're nice and evenly pink all over. The shrimp are gonna be done like that. So simple. Okay, that looks good. 
Take a look at your shrimp, and if it's nice and pink on both sides and not completely translucent in the middle, they're done. It's as easy as that. Remove from heat. I want the juice of the lemon that I zested. Just add that right over. There we go. It's a really nice finish. And I did not forget the zest either, so sprinkle the zest in. The shrimp is really hot and so is the pan, so all those oils are gonna get released. But the zest won't burn. Grab a little parsley, give it a chop. And sprinkle that over your shrimp. Give them a final toss, and just like that, they're ready to enjoy. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. That is a chef's kiss moment. The lemon, the garlic, the heat, and they are perfectly cooked through, not at all overcooked. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my seafood playlist.